Hey guys, John here. Um, this is a quick video response to Dungeon Master Johnny's video on kind of getting to the core of the game uh, of like why we play role playing games and like Dungeons and Dragons, you know, Cyberpunk. You know, what's at the core of it? Why do we play? And uh, really, from what kind of I gather from his video and from his like his early his early experiences playing D and D. It's really, it was about fun. It was about hanging out with our friends and on this adventure. And yeah, and I have to agree with statement one because I just said it. Um, and also because when I started playing D&D, it was around 2007, 2008. I was in sixth grade. I only knew about D&D through what I know through like parodies, like stuff you'd see and like, you know, like, cartoons and stuff and uh, so I asked my dad and he knew what it was he played it in high school and it's fun and sadly we couldn't play with his books because his book got wrecked in a flood that we had when I was really young in the basement over of one of the houses we used to live in so First character I wrote up was he literally grabbed a piece of paper, ripped out of a notebook, wrote down the statistics, you know, strength and all that. Um, you know, we rolled 3d6, there were my stats, came up with a name. I, my fr that first character was a dwarf, dwarf ranger. Yep, they, that's not an atypical character, I don't know what is. And, uh, yeah, it was just he narrated a little adventure. It was fun. I just I still recall a lot of that because it was just me and my dad having fun. It's just something I always just grasp 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 onto. Um, later on, um, around the same year, I got a bunch. Of, you know, my dad said, you know, if I got a bunch of guys together, a bunch of my friends. He DM us a game, and so we, I did, we got some guys, we bought this book right here, the 3.5 player sandbook, and we rolled up characters. Uh, I still have most of the uh, sheets and notes from that game. Uh, here's my first character. Um, uh, Try, Human Sorcerer, level 2. I didn't get far with this character. Uh, yeah. He's of medium size, his age is 16, because I was in 6th grade and 16, 16 seemed like an old age. Uh, 5 foot 6, 50 pounds, I didn't have a good concept of weight at that time. Still don't. Green eyes, blue hair, white skin. Strength is 16, Dexterity 17, Constitution 17, Intelligence 16, Wisdom 13, Charisma 17, 17 or be 17. Have a short, short sword, light crossbow, and a dagger. My feats for toughness and combat casting. Uh, my spells were Acid Splash, Read Magic, Mage Hand, Message, Shield, Magic Missile, Sleep, Detect Magic, and Mending. I didn't have any magic swag because I didn't want to play that on. But yeah, that, that was just... And we played this for a couple months. Uh, there's our map, our adventure map. And there's folder I keep all my stuff in from that game. And yeah, it was just it was just fun. It was and that's what I'm really getting at really is early games when you first start out playing role playing games, whether it's whether it's D and D for, for for most of us gamers it's it's Dungeons and Dragons because that's the role playing game of role playing games. But yeah, no, whether you start out there or you start out with Call of Cthulhu or Cyberpunk or GURPS or 
path or even Pathfinder or any edition of D and D. It's really when you start out, you don't care about the rules. You really don't, because really, really, what it comes down to is this game's a mess. A mess with rules. I mean, it's all like what? And I get that. I get that. You know, I get that. You know. Now I get it that, you know, yeah, it's, D, it's D20, so, you know, there has to be all these bonuses and stuff, so you can run it with a D20. But, yeah, it's just, when I started out, we didn't care. It's not, well, no, it's not that we didn't care, but it's just that we wanted to have fun. We wanted to go through a dungeon, slay a dragon, and have laugh, and laugh. I mean, really, the, the rest of there, uh, this group, although I still play with some of the guys from this group in my, in my group now, a lot of them just drift, drift, drifted away. They kind of stopped hanging out. But yeah, three years ago, my freshman year in high school, got it going on. I got another group get together, and that group I gel with. Uh, as a DM, I love. I love that group because, especially now, my summer, with the, 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 the summer's coming up and we get some players, some of our players come back from college and stuff. It's fun. Because um, with this group, this is the first group I DM'd, uh, first group I really got to cut my teeth on, the first group that I role played with, first group I drew all the drawings behind me. With, uh, I've added quite a lot. Um, and just the group that I have fun with. But still, I always go back to my first game. The first game with my friends, and the first game that my dad, that me and my dad did on a kitchen table, where I was that dwarf ranger, that, that dwarf ranger. Just having fun. Because really, when you get down to it, we play these games. Yeah, we play because we like to role play. Yeah, we like to roll dice. We like to roll, roll funny safe dice. But we play because we like to have fun. We like to get together with our friends and have fun. I mean, really, it's what it is. For some of us, it's... It's making the most, the fun is making the most, like, mid-maxed, combat-effective character. There's nothing, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to make that type of character, go right ahead. Or if you want to make, you know, a story-driven, you know, I'm all story, you know. I've got guys in my group like that. Or if you just want to have fun, if you just want to crawl through a dungeon, get together. I mean, right now, in my group, for my upcoming summer campaign, I'm doing all, I'm doing a lot of monster stats and history for this mega dungeon I'm writing up, and it is huge. It's like graph paper upon graph paper. Eventually, I'll probably have this whole tablet filled up with it. It'll just be the dungeon. It'll just be like mega dungeon. But yeah. What I'm really getting at is, we need to, we really should forget about additions and what rule set you're using and just have fun. You know, play the game you want to play. Whether it's 4th edition D&D, 3.5 or Pathfinder, Cyberpunk, Call of Cthulhu, Vance D&D, even, you know, White Box D&D, the first set of D&D. &D. Play what you want to play. And have fun while you're playing it. I know that's why I... I'm heavily invested in 4th edition. Because it's always just fun. I mean, fun. I wouldn't buy all the books that I have if I didn't feel like I wasn't having fun. And sometimes, you know, yeah. But yeah, anyway. I'm John, as always. Happy gaming.
And remember to have fun.